I thought I'd try a forage scene today. So the first thing I want to try and do, once I've wet the paper all over, is sort of try and get the sort of light coming through the trees. So I'm going to start off a bit of raw sienna, lizard crimson, something like that. Then let's give us I want a bit of dark first. A bit of burnt umber, ultramarine. Let's get some sort of tree backgroundy colour. Sort of lemon yellow. Let's just get that darker on first. Pines grey, ultramarine, some darker areas. And just a bit of Pines grey, lemon yellow, just bits of trees. These are the distant trees now. Not much detail because they're so far away. Strong in there, lemon yellow, ultramarine. And same on the other side, maybe just such a light red, just change the colour a little bit. Lemon yellow, pines grey. Then, as the paper dries, it will go on stronger and stronger. Again, see how it's starting to go on really strong now. Getting really dark on this side. Burnt umber. And then moving on to the other side. I'm going to clean the brush. It's got a bit muddy now, so let's try and get a sort of lighter colour. Yeah, well, the sort of lemon yellow on its own comes out. This is just lemon yellow on its own. Bit of raw sienna in there. Ultramarine, Payne's grey, then umber, light red. Ultramarine, lemon yellow. And you can always get your finger in there as well if you want, if you're a little a few little tweaks and branches and whatnot. Lemon yellow, pines grey. Coming sort of round the corner there. A 
And so as it dries, you can put it on thicker, another layer, and it'll just go on. But it needs to really dry, really, because otherwise it's just wet paint on wet paint, and you, you, you don't really get in anywhere. Paper stretched it, you can see how it's coming away from the board there. So I'm just going to refix it, pull it tight, refix it. Then what we've got on this, on the right hand side, we've got some big ones, some big trees. So I'm just going to go for a sort of dark tree trunky colour, burnt umber, ultramarine. And then we've got one, there's one coming right up, right up there, right at the top. A bit more water, bushes a bit dry. It comes off a little bit better there. That's a big. Just using the chisel edge of the of the height just to create these branches. Use the rigger brush if you want. So I'll switch to the rigger now. Do some finer stuff. Plenty of water. I'm just getting burnt umber, light red, um, burnt umber, ultramarine. Just, I'm just going to clean the brush now. Clean the brush. And just scuff it up. Just so you're drying it, plus all the airs are going everywhere. Nice and random, something like that. And then just to put some leaves on these trees, just dab into your, I'm just giving lemon yellow, Payne's grey, raw sienna. Some leaves on there, they're a bit darker now. Scuffing it up on the palette. And some dark stuff on there. Just gonna darken this area a bit, a bit better. Maybe just a light red in there as well. But it needs to be pretty dry because otherwise you'll just block it all in. And we'll do something similar on the other side. Just dip the tips in just to bring the ears back together. And I just want to put a tree trunk on this side as well, I think. Only a small one. Or shall I? Um, actually, no, I won't bother. Or shall I? Just a little thing like that, maybe. Just a small one like that. I'll go. I'm going to. I'm just going to dry the brush again. Scuff it up. Find a dry bit of tea towel. It up and then back into our uh, greeny bits. A bit of light red, always that nice colour. Just add a bit of, it says just a bit of light red, just really sort of livens it up a bit. Right, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, put the water in. So the water, not too much water on the brush. Um, now I'm going to 
You'll get blue, ultramarine, lemon yellow. A bit of, I'm just going to go for a bit of everything actually. But leaning towards a sort of that yellow, blue. I mean, I'm just sort of. A sweet rain, something like that. Few rocks in there, I think. Big one there, I think. Yeah. Two little smaller ones. Just loosen the paint up, just go over it, and then you can put your rocks in. using the corner of a piece of uh, plastic card. Obviously the rocks will be smaller and smaller as they go off to the horizon. I've probably done too bad. I think it's a... Uh, hang on. I think I'll leave the rocks like that for now. I think. Back to the rigger. See what it looks like with the main sun. So here's our picture with the main sun. If we have a closer look at it, the sky is uh, lizard and crimson and raw sienna coming right down, and then a bit of uh, ultramarine either side with Payne's grey. Just want to get a bit of a, a darker side to it on both sides. So you can see this was predominantly lemon yellow paints grow, but because it was still wet, you see how much lighter it goes on, and then as the paper dries, it goes on stronger and stronger and stronger, until you get these really dark, dark parts when the paint's gone on nice and thick. Down the right hand side as well, try to get all nice dark shadowy areas, and then you can see where I put the uh, all the leaves went on with the dry the dry height brush. And a little bit of scraping out with the finger now just to suggest a few branches and twigs in the background. You can see using the corner of the card for the rocks. Very simple method but can prove quite effective. Obviously get smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance. A few more little rocks on this side and they sort of get bigger and bigger as they come closer towards us. You can imagine how the sort of river it sort of comes round the corner and then I've sort of tried to do it so it sort of sweeps, sweeps off to the left there. You can see all the, the fairly dryish brushwork where it leaves unpainted areas. This is like your little bits of surf and almost like the rapids you like if you like on the air as the water flows through the forest. Thanks for watching, I hope you like that. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.